in the works to opening up Mark Market Mexico. So everything here is 100% double head. And this right here is a first time girl right here. And guys, this right here is clutch number two and we're on the road to 100. Hey, what's up guys? How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. Man, how cool was the last video with the bearded dragons, right? I have never ever heard of a red monster, let alone even see one in person, man. I mean, they're so freaking cool. For you guys that don't remember, that's how we got started in this whole industry. We used to breed a lot of bearded dragons. And dude, man, I used to love breeding those things. But seeing those little red dragons, man, it's just making me work harder and harder, you know, get a bigger facility and have a couple of those things, man, because they were really, really cool. So as you guys can see in the thumbnail, man, um, the changes that are going on in the reptile industry. So it is so crazy. If you guys did not see um, MJ's podcast, dude, his information can be on the description down below. It was one of the coolest podcasts ever. It was something that I've been holding back for quite some time already. Um, something we've been working really, 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 really hard over here at Always Evolving Pythons, uh, the turtle, myself. I mean, we've been killing it. Um, the, for you guys that don't know, um, we've been working a lot going into Mexico back and forth because I've been building three distribution places out there. One in Guadalajara, one in uh, Veracruz, which is pretty much right there close to Mexico City, and one in Juarez, which is a high traffic areas for reptiles. And what we're trying to do is build a distribution out there so when people uh, sell things out there in Mexico, they have a place to be at, to you know have them there, store them, you know, feed them, give them water and stuff like that for customers to come pick them up directly or have short flights. And the crazy thing is we were getting close to um to you know finishing all you know the distribution places out there in mexico john from morph market hits me up and we start talking for a very long time now i can't believe the stuff he's asking me and the, the stuff we're talking about and then he tells me hey man do you think it's time to open up you know morph market mexico and you know he had the spreadsheet for us and you know he thought we were we thought we were only gonna get about like maybe like you know a couple dozen people but my one of my partners hector from union pythons the guy i was with you guys will see him in the upcoming vlogs he actually got bombarded with over a hundred pledges man it was freaking insane so we are literally right now in the works to opening up morph market mexico which it should be up and running hopefully here in two weeks we will be doing the live announcement out in, in mexico at the uh reptile show animalia over there which i believe is the 28th and the 29th but man we are super super excited man I can't believe this literally opening up morph market for mexico i mean this is just bringing up opening up another avenue for the reptile industry i mean it's crazy a lot of people always get worried and they always ask me hey man what if like the market crashes what if this happens what if that happens i've talked to a lot of um ball python breeders uh, justin b and one of them he's been doing this for 22 years and he says when the market has crashed you know twice since even says he says it never really affected his business now myself titla 2021 80 percent of my sales went out of the country we did thailand we did indonesia we did canada we did the uk panama. i mean uh, panama mexico um i mean it, it's it's crazy so you know it this you know it's funny jp we were talking also as well how this just like secures another you know another you know um, market you know and we're not talking about like a city a state or something like that we're talking about a whole freaking country that's right now in the rise right now to you know for the reptile industry and it's so freaking exciting man i myself i've been you know holding this for quite some time and luckily i was able to you know let it out at mj's uh, trap talk which is freaking awesome dude but yeah um morph market is in the works we have three distribution places out there so reptiles you know um to getting them out to being able to ship out to Mexico gonna be a lot easier now. Legal, which is the main thing, the key. And yeah, man, that's really, really cool. So today um, we have a clutch that we have to pull out and we have to show you some babies, which from our first clutch, I didn't get to show you guys, but um, some of them had shed, some of them haven't. If you guys ain't a part of my Patreon, I know I always bring this up, but on Patreon, I just put up my last list of snakes that were there. And man, a lot of them sold. There's still about half, about maybe 20 to 30 snakes. Some of these snakes are still on there. These will be going up there in about a week on Morph Market. So yeah, check this out, man. Oh man, they all pretty much shed except one. Yeah, so the pairing to this was a DG Clown bred to a pastel cypress. And as you can see, we had a lot of cypress stuff. Some of these girls already sold. So everything here is 100% double head cypress clown. So we have cypress here. We have another cypress right here. I am gonna keep one of these bad boys. Then we hit one, two, three cypress pastels. Then we hit two normals that are gonna be double head, um, uh, what's called double head DG clowns. But yeah, guys, um, if you guys are interested, man, go check it out. And for you guys that are new to the channel, you guys always want to say this just in case you guys don't know. If you guys are new to the industry, we always use Perlite. We always fill it up, you know, let's say like 40% of the tupper. And then we fill it up all the way to the water to the top. 
We usually I like to fill a little bit more, but I'm not gonna do Tina, Tina dirty this time. And then we use easy hatch trays right here from Breeder Circle, which are freaking awesome. So um, yeah, let's pull out this clutch. Look at that, man. And this right here is a first time girl right here. So this is pretty cool, man. So this girl right here is a, um, she is a Mandarin Hep Pied and we bred her to a Mandarin Pied. So hopefully, you know, we can make some super Mandarin Pieds. I mean, that'll be freaking sick, but let's start this off. And this will be the second clutch of the season. It's pretty empty too, looking good. We have to put a little red tag on here, track tags. And she has a pretty small clutch right here. So the red track, you know, means that we have to do a full clean, well, Jesse does. Um, and guys, sorry if I'm sweating, I'm a little like stuffy too. Allergies are kicking my butt, man. But yeah, let's check this out here real quick. Let's split these eggs up. But actually I'm gonna do on this clutch just cause they are pretty, you know, stuck together. I really don't have time right now because I have a birthday party to go to. So I'm gonna just leave this clutch just like this. We're definitely gonna candle them and look for the, uh, the embryo. Okay, so nice and veiny. Same, 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 and same. Perfect. So these right here, I'm actually gonna do something that I've never really done. I'm not gonna mark them, just cause they're pretty much stuck right here already. But I do believe we have to take one now, just because the um, lid is not gonna be able to. Um, it won't shut. No. Now it's gonna be my OCD is gonna kick in right now and watch. <laughs> You're gonna pull them apart. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> just keep the camera right here, tortoise. Right there. Yep, well, David, you can put some music on right now cause this is gonna be this minute. Just this one that we need to take off and we'll be Gucci guys. And guys, this right here is clutch number two and we're on the road to 100, hopefully. I mean, let's, I mean, please, hopefully, right Turtle? Yeah, okay. heck yeah. Um, could you move that one all the way to the left, big dog? That's gonna bother me completely. You know? I got you, you had to yeah. give me a second. I don't wanna have to put this camera down and have to, you know, like drop bombs on you in front of you and everyone, so, you know. Just... Right, you're so tough and... What happened and... to the cameras down, Turtle? Nothing, Nothing happens. <laughs> uh, but I sound freaking cool as hell though. Yeah, you sound real cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like your outfit. Thanks, so yeah, guys, that's it for the vlog. I know it was pretty short, but man, I really wanted to share that news with you guys. Finally, again, I'm super, super excited that we worked really hard, man, to get another freaking country on board for, you know, like reptile cells and Morph Market being a part of this. I mean, it's even better and crazier. Guys, in the next vlogs that we're doing, um, I am gonna be at a Venomous Lab that we're actually purchasing with a partner of mine. You guys are gonna see the most dangerous venomous snakes of Mexico, and we got really, really close to them, and it was freaking an amazing, amazing experience. And you guys are gonna see some other collections that I went to check out. But guys, as always, man, we appreciate all of support. Till next time, peace.